Clemens. This is without a doubt the best pecan pie I have ever tasted. How about another little piece? Of course. How about you, George? Oh, I have mercy on this poor sinner, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Father? Well, hello, Adam. The Cardinal just phoned. He's furious. He shouted, Father, I had to hold the phone away. Now, what'd he say? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, Anna, call him back and say that I'm on the way. Yes, right now. Thank you, Anna. What's the problem, George? Cardinal wants to see me, Mom. Now, what have you done? It's the new shrine, isn't it? Lord have mercy. I'm sorry, George. You don't have to worry, Mama. Your food has fortified me for the battle. Don't tell me not to worry and stop arguing with him. It's not the Lord's way to start a fight you can't win. Hey, I better get Father to give me a ride to... Hey, Mrs. Clemens, that was a great lunch. Thanks a lot. George, mind your mouth. You hear me, son? George, you... How many times has he chewed you out lately? Enough. Don't rile him up, George. It was too long and too hard getting your own parish. You're too good a pal to replace. You want me to rub you at the paper? Now, the church is fine. I'll walk to my car. Father Clements is here, Eminence. All right. Aphids and mealybugs. Botrytis, rot. I wonder plants ever grow at all. I've asked God to help me understand you because I failed. I don't know what you're talking about. Just a minute, just a minute. I gave you a parish, a parish of your own because you seem to have a considerable following. And yet to the very first mass, you invited Fred Hampton and Jesse Jackson. Everyone has a right to attend mass. To eminent. speak. You invited them to speak. They are our black leaders, eminence. They are radicals and they're subversives. And the mass itself made a mockery of a black African mass with a lion's skin over the altar. To make the church mean something more to my people, Eminence. Oh, yes. Relevance. Well, you've accomplished some good at Holy Angels. The church and the school enrollments have never been higher. You've encouraged your parishioners to register and vote, and I find that commendable, though I'm disturbed by some of your methods. Eminence? I'm telling your parishioners that unless they voted and proved it, they're going to kick their children out of Holy Angel School. It was a lesson in civic responsibility, Eminent. And this Afro-American Policemen's Association, why? Black and white policemen were harassing one another, Eminent. I saw it as a way to avoid violence. Well, you have a rather broad interpretation of your churchly duties. I respectfully disagree, Eminent. Oh, you do, eh? Will you please explain this shrine that you set up? I have marched with Martin Luther King. He was a great black leader and my friend. It's been many years since he died, and I think we are woefully late in honoring him, Eminence. Honoring him? You're committing a sacrilege. The man hasn't been canonized. The man cannot be canonized. The man was a Protestant minister. 
By what right do you dare erect such a secular idol? By the right of Acclamatio Populorum, eminence. Many in church history have been canonized in just that way, by the right of acclaim of the people. I have heard no such acclaim. Then I suggest that you have not been listening, eminence. Don't you be smart with me, Clemens. Now, that shrine is to be removed at once. Do you hear me? At once. Then I suggest that you send someone to do it, Eminence. This botrytis. It starts on the leaves, and it's innocent at first, and then it spreads over the entire plant. And the only cure... is to cut off the offending part. I own you, Father Clemens. I own you, and I can disown you. Now, don't push me too far, or that's what I will do. Yes, sir, boss. Yes, sir. You got that right. Oh, please, tell your dear mother that she's remembered in my prayers. Listen up, everybody. Everybody, listen up. You're taking up a little collection saying for innocent black brothers in jail. Ain't nobody gonna get hurt. Just lay a little bread in our lids. Do it now, brothers and sisters. Don't make no fuck. Remember, we're helping our innocent brothers in jail. What do you think you're doing? Chill, Jesus, man. We fight no oppression, brothers and sisters. No, you chill out. You're in God's house. Be okay with him. The righteous cause. Get your hands off my wife. What are you doing? Let him be, brothers. Let him be. Continue work. 
Hit a Jesus man, probably be seven years bad luck. This man wants to help his black brothers. Let him feed one who's hungry. Let him pick up a hammer and fix up a tenement. Let him teach a boy to read so he can get a job. Assuming you can read yourself. Careful what you say. Some of my blood's rotting away in a white man's prison. Something you don't know nothing about. Oh, yeah? What about the crack you're killing boys with every day? What color are they? Huh? What color are they? I should have known you'd still be on a plantation picking cotton. A white man put you here because you was favorite Oreo cookie. It's like you need a new dress, man. You deal drugs in my parish, and you and me are gonna get down. Careful who you're talking to. Might be tight with Jesus. This is ice, baby. Now this color comes off too, boy. If you wanna try me one more time, you can hardly wait. Get out of here, punk. Ollie, get out of here. Move. Mass will resume. Jesus is alive. Everybody! Jesus is alive! Nice got his eye on us, man. Say he like our style. You and me being prophets. Now wouldn't that be something? You crazy, man. Ice don't even know we're alive. Right there, pal. Didn't know he worked for the phone company now, Joey. Man, this is outrageous. Innocent black child minding my own business. This racist oppression is a police state we got here. Hey, Kanata, man. How's it going? Can't complain, pal. Listen, I need you to do me a favor. Let's go for a spin around Lakeshore Drive. You know, a little sightseeing, maybe? You know, then after that, you can drop me off at the Hancock Tower. I got me a table at the Sky Top Lounge. Child. You got reservations? What? Got a little rap sheet you piled up, Joey. Know what it means? Yeah, man, you're gonna take away my road scholarship. Probation won't work this time, Joey. Your aunt says she can't cope with you anymore. So I've got no choice but to remand you to juvenile detention center. Unless and until a foster home can be found. Next. Trespass. Trespass, let's go. Man, let me run this place, Jack. Man, see, I kick ass. We ain't had no problem with nobody around here. Oh, great. That's terrific. Why don't you go to your room and chill till I call you? Chris, you back to the drill. Bro, move. Just Chris, the drop. Go, man, go. Go, man, go. Yes. Thank you for taking the time to see me, Father. I know your schedule is crowded. Yes. Well, I can't talk to him right now. What? We'll send Raymond over. Okay. One of my elderly parishioners locked out of the house. He wants me to go over and help. First, they call me, then they call the police. All right. 
So, the gravest problem our department faces is homeless black children, Father. The numbers are overwhelming. If we could convince more black families to consider adoption, I think we could turn the corner on this. Now, we thought, that, well, that is, we hoped with your influence in this community that you... Sorry. Yes. What? Oh, my God, I completely forgot all about it. When did it start? Time I'm on my way. I am aware of the problem of black homeless children. I'd like to discuss this with you further. Meanwhile, I pray for your success, but right now, I have got to bless a brand new softball field. Ah, oh, the kids can wait, Father. They can wait years. It's one of the things I do best. Forgive me for being blunt, but if you people don't care enough about your own kind, then how can you expect me to? Anna, hold all calls and tell the people at the softball field that I have been delayed. Sit down, Mr. Blair. I'm listening. To make sure the kids get plenty of exercise. They enjoy it and it seems to relieve their hostility. They get dumped here. The parents or relatives can't handle them or abuse them or even abandon them outright. Well, most of them are step away from state prison. Spend years on the streets. Tough, cynical, used to violence. Most of them have bad juvenile records. They consider this place a lockup. They got a past they'd rather forget. Future that's a dead end. Turn out it's only a matter of time. You know what follows. Yo, Andy. Give up the rock, man. What's up with you? Let's go, fellas. All right, all right, come on. Boy seems to want something, Mr. Shang. Yeah. Father. I am ashamed. I'm ashamed of myself, and I am ashamed of you. Now, I posted a notice one week ago. I called for a meeting to discuss the unbelievable amount of black children in this city who are without homes and without families. Now, there are 4,000 people in this parish. And yet, when I put up this petition, asking how many people would be willing to meet on this problem just to discuss it, guess how many people signed up? Hmm? Six. Six! Now, that's all right, all right. I'm going to give you another chance. But this time, this time, I'm asking for more than just talk. I want you to stand up and be counted if you are willing to consider adopting one of these homeless black children. Stand up. Stand up if you care enough about adopting your own kind. All right. All right. If you won't adopt, I will. What? Oh, here? Mama? Mm -hmm. Hey, what are you two cooking up? Oh, I was just trying to decide where to have you committed. Oh, Shani. Is it true what I hear? You meant that? You'd adopt a child? Well, when I said it, I was running my mouth. Now I know I meant it. Can I just point something out? I don't want to shock you, okay? Can I make one small observation here? I'm a priest, right? Hey, that's very good. And priests, you still with me now? Priests do not adopt children. I'm sorry to break the news. Why not? <laughs> because they just don't, that's why. But why not? 
I've dealt with my brothers and sisters' children. If you want to hear, I'm pretty good at it. You're a soft touch, pal, not a parent. Oh, you have got a pretty convenient memory on here. When you were awarded Black Man of the Year, and your wife and kids were complaining because you never were home, and you got mad and left, who put you back together? What's that got to do with this? So, so you're a great referee, so what? It's not the same thing as having your own child, believe me. Go oh, here. I have got to set an example. I can't very well ask any of my parishioners to do anything I'm too selfish to do myself. I hear you say about setting an example, but I don't believe I heard the word love mentioned. George, do you really want a child? Because if you don't, someone's going to get hurt bad. And that's a fact. I don't know, Mom. I only know that those kids out there are hurting bad right now. I just can't sit by and watch it happen. It hurts me too much. And I say God bless you. Well, what can I do? Well, nothing's going to happen if nobody knows about it. Well, what if I can get you into Cup's column in the Sun-Times, maybe get you onto his television show? Do you think that Cup would want to get involved in something like this? Huh. Celibate to adopt child is better than man bites dog. I have no answers, Lord. I simply pray for the souls of these beautiful children. That they not be lost because of our fear, or our cruelty, or our ignorance. Not needlessly, Lord. I pray for the strength and the clarity to help my brothers and sisters to open up their hearts and their homes to these children. I ask this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Stand by me. I felt you should be made aware of the column eminence. I don't trust this. Find out if it's true at once. Our evenings, which are so important, it's a time for Don't argue that. No, argue what's good for the child. Where will the child sleep? You can't it's make that argument. Well, That's why? Why? Because it's child a... sleep. Who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? The shadow do. This is no time for jokes, George. It's wrong, it's ethically, it's morally. It's not going work, to work, George. That's right. One no vote at a time. Let Hello. me, please, George. This is laudable, but nobody is going to follow your example. These people can't afford to adopt. And anyway, the state is not going to lower its standards as a favor to you. More than that, your duties are toward the parish, not to your own personal self. The referee's no place for a child. Well, thanks, George. That's right, George. Right, Look at the people who come here. Ex-cons, street people. It's prostitutes. This is a ghetto neighborhood, George. The youngster we'd move in here was born and raised in the ghetto. He would know a lot more about it than any of us. Then think about the child. You'll be out more often on other duties. Who will look after him when he, when he needs it? Nobody. That's yes, right, George. George right. The child will suffer. The parish will suffer. Catholicism will suffer, too. George, we're urging you to reconsider this rashness while there's still time before you make a public spectacle of yourself. I know. I know. Your concerns are honest, but don't you think for a minute they don't plague me also? But when I pray for guidance, my mind and heart are filled with a new kind of love. A love that can move in here and enrich our service to man and God. Now, what can be so bad about that? <sighs> Pass the potatoes, please. Thank <laughs> you.
We know very little about his past. Nobody comes to visit him. What's he been like here? A little stealing, fighting, lots of con jobs. Kids like him. He's a natural born leader. Good sense of humor, talky. Four bitches, man. Read them and weep. <laughs> Joey. Hey, Miss Ass, how's it going, man? <laughs> like for you to meet Father Clements. Father Clements, Joey Summerlin. Hey, Joey. Hey, uh, we're having a dance over at Holy Angels Saturday night. Plenty of food, live music, lots of kids your age. What's the matter, Sharon? You finally run out of shrinks. Steal the cards, man. To the Cardinal, Father. I don't know what he's fixing to do to me if you don't answer his calls. Father. Yes, sir. What is it? You haven't heard a word I've said. I'm sorry, Anna. I met this youngster last night, a little older than I was thinking. Real wise guy. Such a hurry to be bad, you know. One wrong turn, that's all it would take. I don't know. I just don't know. Sandwiches. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. <laughs> hey man, give me a burrito and a meatball sandwich. I think I know how to count? Just checking, man. Thank you. Walked around some. He taking you out again? Who cares? I bet he fixing to adopt you. What do you think I am, fool? <laughs> Me live with some priest, yeah. You crazy, man. Joy, if you don't want him, you think maybe I could have him? Hey, homie. You gotta get with a gang, that's all. See, you play us the prophets? You don't need no mother, no father. You don't need no brother, no sister, neither. Prophets, man, they be your whole family. 
soon they be everything you ever need. Oh, knucklehead. Thank you, Monsignor. <sighs> George, remember when I gave you Holy Angels Parish? I gave you a very important piece of advice. Do you remember what that was? Eminence? George, I said, you are going to be in the spotlight more than any other priest I have. For heaven's sake, don't. Embarrass me. Do you remember that? Well, of course you do. Now, this thing of yours is a childish rebellion against authority. I'll survive it. The church will survive it. But it grieves me to see you setting such a bad example for your own kind. What kind is that? Well, I mean, don't bandy words with me, George. I'm trying to help you. You've got to retract that statement. I'm sorry, Eminence, but I can't. Forgive me, Eminence, but I will not do that. I'm very disappointed in you, George. I, I feel very let down. You wouldn't dare come first to me and make that statement. You had to spring it on me in the gossip column. Eminence. I'm trying to encourage my parishioners to adopt homeless children. Surely you can't be opposed to that. Of course not, of course not, George, among the laity. But it is forbidden to the clergy. It's against canon law. But I know of no church law. Silence, George, silence! Now this is something very different from your ordinary shenanigans. It's very different indeed. Because what you are proposing to do strikes at the very heart of church authority. You are under a sacred vow of obedience, and I order you to stop this adoption fast this instant. Yes, yes. This is no arguments, George. Otherwise, I will suspend you from your parish. Suspend you. You'll be out. Out, George. Kicked out. Finished. Finish. Uh, hello, Father Gordon. This is Father Clement. Fine, thank you. I was wondering if you could do me a favor, please. I'd like for you to do some research for me. Could you find out if there's anything in canon law that forbids a priest to adopt? Oh, <laughs> you saw the newspapers, too. Yeah. Well, thank you for your interest, Father Gordon. Goodbye. Inspire the cardinal, you're going ahead with you. I don't know, Anna. I, I don't know. What's troubling you, Father? Well, the legal procedures are complex. Joey could change his mind any time. Mm-hmm. And what else? <laughs> you know, I'm going to get myself a new secretary. You know me too well. I'm scared. Joey's bad. He's tough. He's set in his ways. He could disrupt the lives of others here. Hello, hello, hello. Take a look. Cup's already done a follow-up column. Yes, that's just I know, Anna. Show me the article. He's getting calls, Father, from all over the country. As long as Joey isn't mentioned, I've got to get to know him. Don't worry. I'm telling everybody you haven't picked a specific kid yet. Everybody? Well, you know, the other papers, magazines, radio, television. Oh, take it easy over here. Nothing has happened yet. <laughs> it's happened. They all want the story. Will it be a boy or a girl? What problems do you foresee? You wanted to meet it on this thing, now you got it. Yes, but I never realized it would be quite like this. Well, it's, it's a lot like riding the tiger's back. It's a lot of excitement, just a little hard to steer. And like it or not, I don't think you can climb off now. Have you heard anything? R right, right. Well, I'll tell Father you called. R right, thank you. Bye-bye. People magazine. Any news from the Cardinal yet? 
No. But this will knock your socks off. <coughs> Father Gordon called. He's researched canon law as far back as the 12th century, and nowhere is there any pronouncement that specifically forbids a priest to adopt a child. Is this true? Nowhere. How's that for egg in your beer? Then uh, the cardinal's objections to this adoption has no legal basis. That's right. <laughs> I'm shaking. Confusion to thine enemies. I don't want him as an enemy, that's for sure. And God knows I've angered him. Yet, if it comes down to a choice between the priesthood and adoption, there's no doubt I'd choose the priesthood. Where'd you learn to cook, man? Huh? Around. Sure smells good. Oh, you better believe it, man. I can't find my vinegar. Joy, you want to run down to the store and fetch me some things? Hey, man, don't let the sucker burn. Yes, sir. I like the red wine vinegar. Some dry mustard and get me some milk and eggs. Yes, ma'am. Oh, and bring me the Sun Times. Well, don't stand there, boy. I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You sure like him, George. That's the truth, ain't it? No, Mama. Just proud of him. But he's gonna make a good stew. <laughs> You're taking on an awesome responsibility. I know that, Mama. I just pray that I'm ready. Lordy, I never thought I'd get me a grandson from you. <laughs> he's a fine young man, and I'm mighty proud. When are you gonna say something? Mama, if it was up to me, I would ask him right now. The Cardinal? He is dead set against it. He's just waiting for my next move. On top of that, I'm not so sure about Joey. I don't know whether he wants it. Ain't that a touching story? It brings damn tears to your eyes, don't it, Bob? Mm -hmm. Yo, man, cool out. Hey, man, this nigga got attitude, man. Hey, y'all leave Joey alone. Joey's all right. Just looking out for number one. See, Dower, he didn't already plan. Joey's looking to do better some old badass street gang. Joey's gonna better himself. Ain't that right, Joey? Gonna go to college. Be president someday. That's what Jesus man tells him. You black. But you pray to Jesus, you get anything you want. Man, don't get no train. <laughs> Hush, Marvel. Now, Joey's just showing a little enterprise. Three grits a day, soft, warm crib to crash in. That's why we like the boy. But you know that, right, Joe? You know I like you, right? Yeah, I yes, I know. Yeah, look at me, Joey. Look at me. I want you to know, Joey's got a home with me, okay? You ever get tired of praying in a white man's church and come looking for old dice? You did? Yeah, man. All right, take care of yourself. Looking good, man. Why not, homeboy? What up, man? Cool, man. How's it going? I don't know. Coming to five dollars and forty cents. Thank you, honey. I dropped the bag. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. I got this too. I didn't want you to find out this way. I wanted to wait until you got used to me. That stuff in the newspapers. <sighs> it's complicated and hard to explain, but I, I feel that it's important for people to know so that more people will do what I'm doing. And Joey, I want you to be my son. I think we can work it out. 
Why don't you say something? Man, you don't understand nothing. Yeah, man, you can give it a try. Anything beats this joint. Every paper I read has some piece or other about these schemes of yours, and nowhere do I read a denial from you. Have you issued one? No, Eminence. Why not? Didn't I order you to? Yes, Eminence, but I've since learned that nowhere does canon law forbid adoption. I forbid it! I forbid it! And yet they tell me that you've not only ignored my orders, but you've actually singled out a boy for adoption. You've taken him home and introduced him to your family. You have told that poor boy that he is to be your son. Do you deny that? No, Eminence. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, your choice is simple. Not going to pretend it's easy. But it's simple. It's parenthood or the priesthood. You, you can't have both. Eminence, if you could just give me a little bit more time, I'm sure that I can convince you that what I am trying to accomplish... No, no, no more time. No more time. You have to make your decision now. I want it now. Well. I have searched my heart to find out what is right, not just what is expedient. And I can't choose the welfare of this boy, no matter how deserving over the priesthood I can't. Of course you can. Now, you do agree not to adopt this boy? Yes, Eminence, if it is your will. Yes, it is my will. They want you. Mr. O'Hare said, come quick. I've never seen him so jumpy. Uno moment. Grazie. Gra Father, it's Rome. It's the Vatican newspaper. Observatory Romano. Hello? Hello? Yes, speaking. Yes, yes, I understand. Would you mind repeating that, please? Thank you. Thank you very much. And tell His Holiness that I deeply appreciate his kindness. Goodbye. That was uh, a reporter from a Vatican newspaper. He read me a statement issued by His Holiness, Pope John Paul II. His Holiness wishes to express his pleasure at my efforts and wants to congratulate me. The Pope says it's all right for you to adopt Joey? In a sense, yes. Did you hear me trying to stall that guy in Italian? I'm going, hey, go! 
중요한 질문다. <웃음> yeah, holy angels. Well, I'm sorry. I can't. Yes, Eminence. Yes, right away. Hello, Eminence. Yes. Thank you. Yes, I understand. Yes, goodbye, Eminence. Uh, that was uh, Cardinal Coding. Uh, apparently, they called him before they called me. What did he say? He said he's going to issue his own statement to the press. He's going to tell them that he wants to express his deeply felt pleasure at the steps I've taken to sensitize the black community to this urgent problem. Praise God! What, Father? Aren't you happy? After all these weeks, after all this opposition from Cardinal Cody, I never thought that this day would finally happen. And now that it has, it's, uh, it's a little scary. But you are gonna adopt Joey, aren't you? You better believe it. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is so funny over here, huh? You think the Cardinal's been wondering? Wait till you start living with a 16-year-old, you're gonna charge admission! <laughs> <laughs> sure feels good to be getting out of this cage. You know, living with the priest, man, you're gonna have to watch yourself. He's just my ticket out, man, and he ain't making me no water boy. And anyway, he leave me to do my own thing, all right? And yo, it won't be the first time I ever split. Yeah, I hear you, bro. And anyway, like the man say, adoption don't go through just like that. Not till the county say so, and not till I say so. You ready, Joey? Can I come back here and visit sometime? Yeah. He's just a kid. He don't like being left. Be right back. Yo, homie. You act like we're never gonna see each other again, man. Tell you what. When I get something good going on the outside, you and me gonna get together and go to the movies. How's that, man? You got a deal. All right, man. Hang in there, man. Whoa, forgot a couple of buddies. These are the slimy brothers, man. Where I go, they go. The slimy brothers. Close the door behind you. Ah, Joey, this is Mrs. Cannon, this is Mr. O'Hare, Father Powers, Father Donovan, and Father Guinness. Everybody meet Joey Summerlin. Are these dudes living here, man? Uh, no, Joey. See, uh, well, Mrs. Cannon is my secretary, Mr. O'Hare is my friend. Uh, only men live in the rectory. Those you see here, plus some others that you meet later. Word up. <laughs> Check it out, man. You got a damn motel here. Well, yeah, what's my room at? Joey, Joey. Joey, yo. Aren't you gonna say hello? Yo, y'all, what's up? Yeah, let's see it, man. <laughs> oh, and uh, 
This is the slimy brothers. I'm sure he's a great kid once you get to know him. Yeah. I didn't know he was so big we could recruit him as a halfback for Notre Dame. Nah, <laughs> Meanwhile, count the silverware. Oh, <laughs> I don't think that's necessary. Well, the beast the joint, man. But I don't see no TV. It's in my room. They down there running their mouths about me now. What you want to bet? <laughs> Probably. You made a vivid first impression. Well, try not to be such a badass. You give them half a chance to be friends. Yeah, man. Joey, if you don't mind, I prefer you to call me father from now on. Hey, Pops, whatever. No, 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 Joey. Father. Well, I guess you want to take a rest, don't you? Yeah, man. All right, we'll talk a little bit later. I'm sure there's some questions you want to ask. Joey? I'm glad you're here. Stop by the high school this afternoon and get you registered. Father, you telling me I gotta look like some punk? The jacket, the white shirt, tie, and gray pants are the rules of the school. There's no two ways about it. Now, come on, we're late for lunch. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. What's the matter? Hey, man, how come I lock your door? Well, it's my private time. Sometimes I like to be alone. Mm. Oh, you're watching TV, huh? Uh -huh. Is that okay with you? Hey, man, no problem. Being as you got me on the tube and it's dark. Seems to me I remember asking you to clean up your room. What happened? Joey, clothes do not belong on the floor. And if they're clean, you hang them up. And if they're dirty, you throw them in the laundry. Yeah, I hear you, man. Now, Joey. Right now. This is not a room. This is a swamp, Joey. Are you trying to make the, the, the slimy brothers feel more at home or something? And another thing. I can't find any of my socks. Have you been into my socks, Joey? Listen, man, you're the one making me go to Catholic high school, all right? I gotta wear your necktie and I gotta wear your funky little socks. 
Well, Joey, if you need dress socks, you just ask and Anna will go shopping for you. Wait, hold, time out, man. What? Is that coming out of my allowance? No. All right, man. Joey, I'm father. Not dude, not man, not yo, I'm father. In fact, every time you say man, I'm gonna take it out of your allowance. You think you can remember that way? Oh, you bet, man. Bingo. It's 50 cents. Keep the socks. It's all set. The Sun Times will run your column once a week. You can pick any topic you want. Uh, you'll need me too. I'll help you edit the copy. They'd especially love to get stuff about Joey. Yo, and Cup wants you both for one of his TV shows. Ah, huh, that's great. You know, I'm thinking of lining up some other churches. You know, uh, organizing a campaign throughout the city. Who is it? It's me. Now that is something new. Knocking. <laughs> Come in. How you doing? Uh, Father, uh -huh. this is for you. What is it? No big deal. Catch you later. <laughs> Look at this. I don't get it. Why the four bits? Well, let's call it interest over here. The first real interest on my investment. What a surprise. You've been mighty scarce around here lately. Come on in. Hey, Missy, what's happening? <laughs> what's on your mind, Chuckie? You mind if I ask you something? Go right ahead. How come you want to adopt me? Hasn't he told you yet? Yeah, but it don't make no sense. Well, I keep asking myself the same question. The answer I come up with is because I suppose he likes you. I do. <laughs> but how come you picked me out of that whole bunch? Maybe because you're so big and loud and ask so many questions. It reminds him of him. George is the only one who can answer that question. And if you're not satisfied, you just keep asking, child. The mother priests, man, they think I'm bad news. Oh, honey, I wouldn't worry about them. Well, I, I can't never be no water boy. Good. Then stop leaning on my dryer and take these things into my bedroom. <laughs> now, what the hell are you doing? Be cool, man. Now be cool. Now, did anybody see you come here? No, I Come on, answer me, man. Answer me. Anybody see you? No, man. I told you I'd get here with nobody following me. What's going down? You're looking good, man. You're looking righteous. That priest taking good care of you, huh? There I was going on. I could use some help, man. You think you could stash something for me? Stash what? Yes, sir. 
This is what I think it is. It's wild, man. And you out of your mind? Where'd you get this? Hey, man, it fell off a truck, man. What do you care? You ripped off blow from ice? Man, are you crazy? Who kill you? Man, he killed both of us. Hey, man, I need it. I need it. And he ain't never gonna know, man. I cut it. I cut it with powdered sugar, okay? So I just don't suspect nothing. I took half and I left him man. Enterprise, man. Remember? Enterprise. I can't take that to Holy Angels. So what, you going religious on me now? No, man, I can't take that man, in man, there. We was tight, man. We was solid, you and me. We had us some good times. We did it all together. So just a few days and I'll come back and get it. You shoot us a few days? Just a few days, man, I swear. Joey? Yeah? You in there? All right, just a second. Come in. Well, what happened? What do you mean? You were supposed to beat me at the Tribune at the school for an interview. Remember? Pictures and an interview. Oh, yeah. Well, I wasn't feeling well, so I came home. Sorry. Is anything wrong? No, man, I'm fine. How come you always gotta give me a third degree or something? Well, because when you did not show up for the interview, I phoned you and you weren't here either. Now, I'm not gonna ask you what you're up to, and where you're going, what you do in your own time is your own business. So why don't you just get off my back? Because you agreed to an interview, Joey. And it was embarrassing sitting in that reporter's office, cooling my heels, waiting for you to not show. Listen, I'm sorry, OK? It won't happen again. Now look, Joey, I don't ask you for much. But you know how important this adoption program is to me. Lay off, will you? So I think I'm getting a real bad headache. Father Clements, why do you think that black people are irresponsible to their children? Now, that's your assumption. That's not what I said, Cup. But I do recall your saying that the numbers of black children in need of adoption is much greater than the whites. Yes, but that's not because blacks are irresponsible. That's right. It's because more black children are homeless and parentless for a variety of reasons. And why do you think you can adopt a street kid with a long record of juvenile crime that Joey has and trust him in your own home? Well, why not? And how's it going, Joey? Okay. Just okay? Well, I like Father Clements. He's straight with me, man. I mean, sir. Now, is Father Clements starting to feel like a, a real dad to you? I don't know. I never had one. Sometimes he's like a friend, and other times he's more like a boss. But you do get along with each other pretty well, don't you? Yeah, sure. No arguments? No differences? No answers? Let me ask you, Joey, do you plan to study for the priesthood yourself? No way, man. <laughs> Father, let me take you to a more serious subject. It's no secret that you've had some problem with Cardinal Cody over... Uh, well, 
his eminence joins with me in my desire to raise the conscience of the community and in my enthusiasm uh, over the possibility that one church, one child, grow into a national movement. What's troubling you, Joey? You really dig all this stuff, don't you? Dig what? The reporters, the spotlight. You really get high off all this, huh? Meaning what? I just don't like everybody knowing my business, that's all. Ah, oh, that's useful. It helps the cause. Oh, well. As long as it helps the cause. Ain't I seen you on TV, man? Damn, son, you a big star. Let's get out of my way. How come you never told us your papa was a priest? Yeah, man. How come? I said, get out of my way. Well, what's it like, man? Do you gotta confess every day? What's he gotta confess? <laughs> he say, Papa, today at school I was an uncool fool. <laughs> He said, Papa, I had me some unclean thoughts today. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah, man, wicked bad thoughts. Been dreaming I was getting it on. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you getting it on. That's enough! That's enough! He started it! I don't care who started it! It stopped right now! Come in. Yeah. I have a lot of, I have a lot of, I have a lot of, and the lady doesn't get the answer, so I nearly pick up. She looked at you when you said a lot of talent. You heard there was an unscheduled 10 rounder over to high school today. <clears throat> you catch any of it? You here to bless me out? Yeah. Onward and upward, because this new lady here is waiting to win money and so much trouble. I was just thinking about what you said the other night. My liking publicity it really shook me up. Hey, you're not having second thoughts about this, are you? You know, for a week now, you've been spending all your free time in here. Haven't said a word. What's eating you, boy? Nothing. Well, I don't believe you. Forget it. I said I'm fine. I care for you, Joey. Anytime you want to talk to me, I'm right here to listen. I've been reading some of those columns of yours. This one church, one child campaign you've been organizing. Are you proposing that other priests follow your example? No, Eminence. Uh, I'm just trying to make this an interfaith effort. If, if one family from each church in this state could adopt one child, we would not need any orphanages, uh, just one family. 
But two other priests from my diocese have started adoption proceedings. You knew that, George. You're behaving like a willful, disobedient child. Why are you doing these things to me? To me? Why? <laughs> you know, George, it wasn't so long ago that the Irish were the niggers of this town. Mix. Shanty, trash, no Irish need apply. But we made this city. We made it rich. We made it strong. We ran it for years. Well, all right, we made mistakes. This was a very safe town to live in. It was a good town. Everybody knew the rules. Everybody knew who was... His place? Oh, well, well. You know, when you, when you love something as deeply as I've tried to love the church, sooner or later, it'll break your heart. I'm sorry, Eminence. My mother asked me to convey her gratitude for your prayers. Why you tell your mother to say a prayer for me? So I say to you, if any child wants to come to you for any kind of help, please, these children in this city need a family, they need your heart, they need your attention, and they need for you not to lie. Do right. you understand? All children need love. All children need a home. And all children need a family, something to eat, and for you not to lie. I tell you one more time, all children are children in God's own house. Miss Clements, Miss Clements. You sure I can't give you a ride? My car's right around the corner. Oh, no, thank you. Joey and I are going to stretch our legs a spell. You watch out for this one, pal. She's in training for the marathon. <laughs> Talk to you later. Okay. Well, now, you can't be running with a gang. Because George tells me you hardly leave your room. It could be a girl, but... Well, you could never sneak her into that rectory. Unless you're some kind of magician. <laughs> Joey, you better talk to me. It makes you think I got something to talk about. Now, don't play dumb games with me. Suppose a friend asks you to do something. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's bad. <sighs> but he's still your friend. This thing, it could hurt people. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Well, you know the answer, same as me. You got to tell me. He loves you for who you are. You've got to trust him. Can't you see that? Don't fight loving him, honey. No matter how much you've been hurt before, you've got to trust him. You got to do that for yourself. He has some property in mind. I want it back. Well, well. You, you remember Andy, Joey's roommate at the detention center? Yeah, sure. He's being adopted. What? Uh huh. <laughs> wow. That is fantastic. <laughs> you know, 
This is just what Joey needs to snap him out of his funk. That's right, baby. Think hard. How'd he get in here? What kind of story am I gonna make up? Save your breath. Where is it? It's not here. You see, Marvel? The boy got smarts. Mm -hmm. The boy don't deny he got the item. That's why I like the boy. What's happened to Daryl? Daryl's around, doing fine, you know. He said give you his love. Hoping you're gonna cooperate with me. Really hoping you know. Father? Yes. It just came on the radio. The Cardinal, he's dead. The Cardinal? When did it happen? I just heard. I'm not certain. A strange way. It was like a father to me. He wanted to belt me a hundred times because I wouldn't live my life the way he would like. And his orneriness kept me a, kept me going all these years. I'm gonna miss him. It was the last of a breed, George. Give it back. You'll be cool with Daryl? Why not? Daryl don't mean nothing to me. I just want my property. You mean that? Hey, man. We ain't playing games with you. Now give it up. Now. Put it out in the streets now, won't you? Maybe even sell it in the Holy Angels. Sell it to the kids. Life's a bitch, boy. I got to take care of my own. Yo, man, you just remember. You promised Dal will be all right. Dal will be all right. But you best start thinking about yourself, boy. You keep your mouth shut about what happened. And me and you'll be all right. Me and you still friends, Joey. Come around sometime. <sighs> I'm going to show Joey uh, this letter about him. Jesus, man. What are you doing in here? Me? Yeah, you. I was just having a little rap on my man Joey. He does the business for me, that's all. You got no business for Joey, and you stay away from him. What's the matter, Padre? You losing touch with little Jesus? Go ahead, man. Let's all hang out. You get out of my rectory, or I'll tear you apart. You don't get your chance, Jesus, man. Like I said, we ain't done yet. Padre, you can take the boy off the streets, but you can't take the street off the boy. <laughs> What's happening here? I ask you a question. What's that? Now, let's not make this any bigger than it already is. And please, don't you lie to me, boy. I beg of you, do not lie to me. Now tell me, what is this? What is this? My God! Are you dealing inside the Holy Angels Church? Is this how you repay me? Well, I didn't think I owed you anything. You sneak behind my back with that, that, that scum. 
you meet with him inside my church and you deal drugs for him? Then what do you think I am? I don't know what you are. Maybe I never did. Yeah, that's right. You never did know. Think about it. You know why? Because I'm nothing but your little show dog. That's all I am. Something to win you some righteous damn blue ribbon. I'm not finished with you, boy. Now go me, man. Hey, you see, I got a friend out there, and they might waste him, and there's nothing I can do about it. What'd you say? Joey, 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 Joey! Come back here, boy! Think hard, Mom. Try to remember what he said, the exact words. Oh, why didn't he confide in me? Why? Okay, Mama, okay. Yeah. See, he, he's been missing since the middle of the afternoon. He, that's right, sister. Will you give us a call at Holy Angels if he comes to school in the morning? Thank you, sister. Mr. Shearing, this is Father George Clements. This could really so shoot down one here. church, one child. We don't know where he is. I haven't done the slightest clue. Have you heard anything? Do you know anything? Has he come back there? Has any of the boys been talking about him? Yes, I would appreciate that. Please call me anytime. Thank you. Nothing at any of the hospitals. You ought to eat something, a sandwich at least, or some coffee. This, this, this is my fault. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, Father. Well, I misjudged him. He was trying to protect a friend, and I drove him away. Now he'd be anywhere. Maybe it's time we brought the cops in. No, I can't. Not until I'm sure how Joey is involved. And there's only one place I can find the answer. Hey, 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 wait a minute, Father. Ice isn't the Bowery Boys, you know. If he has to, he'll kill you. But I just can't sit here any longer either. I've got to find him. Then I'm going with you. No, no wait. Wait, please, be my friend. Stay here. Let me do this my own way. We'll be right here if you need us for anything, Father. God bless you, Father. Thank you. You can't go in there. Don't I know you? That's right, you're not Reed, boy. Martin Reed. It's a private club, father. You got no business here. Boy, you know, the first time I saw you, you still wearing them triangle pants. Man, I said you can't come in here! Well, well. Welcome to my church, priest. Taking up collection. Is Joey Summerlin here? Joey? I can't seem to remember. Anybody seen Joey? Little wimpy dude? He was a cute little tie and blue jacket? <laughs> He's my son. He might have come up here looking for a friend of his. Sorry, Jesus, man. But why don't you help yourself some weed on the way out? <laughs> Do you know where he is? <laughs> Do you? You. How about you? All right. 
find it myself. Come back anytime, baby. You're still our favorite Oreo cookie. <laughs> <laughs> little calling card, punk. Take a good look at it. Because you are going to go down for this. I ain't seen Joey, but his friend named Daryl. Something's going down, man. What do you mean? Something big's going down. Marvell ain't been here all night, and Ice making sure he got an alibi. He never heard me say a word. Where does Daryl live? 800 block on Williams. Not a word, father. Not a word. And thank you, huh? He told me he'd be all right. You did a good thing. You tried to protect your friend. You could do no more. Man, I lied to you. I knew it was stupid. I told him it was stupid. Joey, you did, you did what you could, Joey. I could have saved him. If I made him give his stuff back, I could have saved him. Joey, listen to me. Now listen to me. Nothing more in the world that I want than you to be my son. Hey, hey, do you hear me? You mean that, man? Yes, I do. I can't be what you want. What's that? 
be like you. Well, who said you had to be like me? All, all I want for you to be is the best that you can be. Not for me, but for you. So you can feel good about yourself. Joey, I love you. Do you hear me? I love you. Come on, let's go home.